Bonjour and welcome back to Jean d'Arc. When we last left off, well, we were uh, slipping through the uh, underground canals of Barry. Liar and his friends can reach the war rim by boat. Yeah, sure, little bub. Uh oh, very sure. I'll take you to my grandpa. Uh, the other. Stage clear. Yay. And a uh, hefty amount of bonus gold. Ooh, two things of fruit. Not bad. And Lahire is nearly level 50 at this point, and Jean is level 47. Ah, Paris Warren. Proceed to the stage. We. Oui. So this is what a Therion town looks like. Like any other town. The Paris Warren. Grandpapa! Old oh, Grizzly, is that you? Is that any way to refer to your elders, your scallion? The higher cannot believe you are still alive! You are the first of those who left to return here. Now then. Come closer. Is that so? The English are stirring up trouble again. Pesky, aren't they? They are more than pesky, Grandpapa. They cannot win their wars. So they take swings at the Therians. Pish posh. Have a little more dignity in front of your guests. Sorry. I need to ask you something. Whose side are you on? That of the English or the farm? Hmm. Girl child. Is that supposed to be some sort of test? Because you're asking the wrong question. Perhaps you meant to ask whose side the Therians are not on. That of the humans or the fiends. Huh? Am I wrong? Uh. The Therians originally lived all over Europe. Once we and the humans join forces against the Reapers, the Therions took up arms, and for men I'm led to forge from gems to present in nature. In time, the war of the Reapers was won, and that was the beginning of the Therions' trouble. Humankind lauded themselves for the victory won by the Arlets. The Therions, however, who gave them the Arlet, received all but shackles in return. Ah! So, um, all of this Arlet power is to make humans as good as furries. Okay. Which led us, leads us to today. The Therion's vast kingdoms have been reduced to this tiny warren. Most Therion's hate humankind. Some, swayed by the fiends and new words, have gone so far as to take vengeance on humanity. 
they believe they have a chance to reclaim their lost kingdom. So they fight for the English. Do you? Elder, trouble. English troops are outside the Warren. Lots of them. What? Aha! So you must have been those enemy spies I heard about. Yeah, I knew you animals were trouble. Yeah. Seize them all. Beat all enemies, all allies fight or er, fall in battle. Oh, and we've got another one of these split up groups. That's not too bad, especially since we don't have to like um, defend any particular place. Let's see, we'll have you there, and Richard there. You there. The enemies are all largely outside. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, you can move there. Have you wait there and up. Increase everyone's ability. Good. put on to um, uh, Bartholomew, because it's a lot better than Woodshop. Jugular, raise mobility, and uh, spiritual. All good abilities. I need 
get feathered. Yeah, let's do some preemptive damage there. I can only attack you one at a time, unless... Ah. Uh. Oh my. Well, I don't think that wyvern's gonna last too long anyway. Yahoo! Might as well go see what uh, that is over there. Suspicious, all of them. Yeah, I won't give up. Time we put, see what uh, Quisis looks like. Also, wow, yeah, we've got um, Argent, which we started with, uh, Giles, and Azure. Transform! Okay, that's the thing. I was kind of hoping that maybe he would like temporarily revert back to his human form or something. You know. Some degree of uh... yeah, Ooh, counter though. Yeah. Let's end the turn now and let's see what um, some of Richard's higher end stuff looks like. More flame twos, not bad. Nice! me. I can dig it. 
Not sure if I've already done this transformation yet, but... In temporal life, thou l must learn thine existence is futile and surrender to the light. Deals heavy damage to one enemy. Not bad. Although, this does more damage, because Marcel is a beast. God save you. And some more fruits. Healing vapors. Oh, I've got the vapors. Everyone else is rounding up near 50. Your omelet. Might I have a closer look at it? Oh, this is Luther's omelet. How long it's been. You wear the omelet of a true hero. Did you make it then? Har, har, har. No, no, it was not I. It was not the Therions at all that made the armlets, but rather the elves and the dwarves. Oh, darn it. They too once populated the entire continent and fought alongside us in the War of the Reapers. If you wish to face the fiend, and you must acquire one of the mighty gems in their possession. I will write you a letter of introduction. You may show them. I need a letter of introduction. This is sounding like my Arcanum playthrough. Elves, dwarves, bureaucracy. Yeah, this is Arcanum, all right. But I have always you hated you, man. No, I consider myself your friend. For I know there are still good humans out there. Like Luther and you. I go. Both races domains lie far to the east. The elves are on the wood is outside of Rheims. While the dwarves' mighty Gwaigon mines are south of Nifshetu. So, this is a uh, split point. Um, usually, I'd probably just go for the dwarves because uh, elves in most games are kind of annoying. But, um, we get a lot more backstory if we go with the elves, so sure, Harland would. Very well, safe travels then. Harland would. Ooh, we got a shop here. Tell me we've got good stuff. Ooh, Mithril Sword. But that's still kind of worse than what we've got. Twin Egna, I know, is worse than what uh, Gilles has. Yeah. Sorcerite Axe. Yeah. Sage's Frog. Okay. You can wear that, and you can wear that, and everyone can wear that. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's 
So plate armor would have been our next major upgrade. Metal armor that covers the entire body offers excellent protection, but weight hampers movement. Um, but yeah, since um, we already found Mithril Mail by uh, doing some side quests, yeah, we don't have to worry about plate armor. Uh, kite shield. Healing fruits. And regular stuff there. So, I'm gonna uh, re equip everyone and all of that. And when we come back, I guess we're gonna go see the elves. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>